What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jabo underscore 435i. Back again with another video. All right, so pretty much this this uh, video around, I wanted to uh, talk about pretty much some of the things that I like about this actual this BMW. You know, you know the five things that I like about it, and I don't know five or however many things I don't like about it. So, as most people know, I have the uh, the 20, uh, 2014 435i. Um, let's see. So. You know, it has the N54 motor, it has the uh, the eight-speed uh, automatic transmission. Um, you know, when I first bought the car, it had uh, the N3 wheels on it, the 18 inches. Uh, I think I believe the the code is uh, the 513M. You know, for the wheels. Let's just pretty much hop into some of the things I like about it. Let's go. So first thing. First thing I want to say, what I like about this car, pretty much the way it looks. So I like the way it looks, it looks sporty. You know, I like the coupe. I actually, I never had a coupe before. So I owned a, a Saturn SL2, I owned the E39, um, you know, 528i, uh, sedans, you know. So basically this is my first coupe. So I, I love the, the sportiness of it. You know, it has some wide hips. Um, I love the, uh, the headlights on it. I love the wheels that it came with. So the grills, you know, the halos, that was like, you know, a major must have on the BMW, the halo lights. Um, let's see. So yeah, the looks, number one. Number two, the interior. You know, I, I don't have the, uh, the red guts. I just have the plain black interior, but shit, I love it. You know, it, it's nice. It's, it's everything that I could ask for. I mean, you know, look at that. It has the uh, the lumbar support. Uh, it has the uh, the hug hug the hips. You know, um, the the steering wheel package, all the sport package. You know, everything that you could want. Um, you know, out of a, a daily driven you know coupe. So I love it. You know, it's it's, it's pretty much it's a whole nice package that they offer. I like the uh, the infotainment system that it has. It's real easy to um, you know maneuver through all the options and everything. Um, Let's see, I don't know, you know, space, us usability, you know, um, I don't, you know, wish I had more space on it, like trunk space, you know, rear seat, you know, I still got a car seat back there, you know, I still got my little daughter back there, she has no problem fitting back there. Um, that's pretty much it, I love the interior, I love the exterior, you know, so that was one of the main reasons why I bought this car. Um, you know the interior when i went through the different models i seen that you know it has some of the seats that you know wasn't adjustable at the uh the lumbar support didn't have the uh the real like the hugging hips um and some of them didn't have the uh that sporty steering wheel like the m sport steering wheel so i knew the one that you know the bmw that i was looking to get had to have those options so i didn't care about the uh the carbon fiber trim i didn't care about the red interior um, you know, black A1, that's, that's good enough for me. All right. So number three is the power plant. That's the, uh, the N55. My bad. I had some in my eye. So yeah, of course, everybody knows this BMW comes with the N55. This is the F30, F32 chassis. N55 is, um, you know, it, it, it packs a punch, you know, for, for a stock motor, you know, 300 horsepower, um, inline six, 3.0 liter, uh, single turbo, twin scroll. So yeah, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that nowadays. But I mean, what it gives you, you know, rear wheel drive, inline six, damn near like a Supra. So it's almost like shaped like a, a Supra. But, um, yeah, I love it. I mean, it's, it's more than what I could ask for right now. You know, I, I need it at the time I was looking for, you know, I I, I seen the uh, the inline fours uh, turbo, but, you know, they're only what pushing what I don't know, what 250 horses or whatever. So I wanted the, the more tunability of uh, the inline six. So I know these have more potential. So that's why I went with this. <sighs> Let's see. So that was that was three, right? Um, number four. 
the tuna tunability. I love the tunability. Like it when I when I first got the car, you know, automatically looking up, you know, what I can do to it. You know, downpipe, uh, tune, upgraded turbo um, intake, you know, exhaust. You know, already looking at that kind of stuff to see what I can do to it. And it just had, you know, a, like just everything that I, that I can. It just had so many options. So, I mean, right now. You know, I have it set up to where, you know, I can I can handle the power, but I still haven't, you know, drove it on the track. And that's the main focus for me right now. I actually want to set it up to where I can drive it on the track. So brakes, brakes are next. You know, a couple of maintenance things like uh, doing the transmission uh, flush on it. So definitely uh, got to take care of that before I get on the track. And the plan is next year to go to Sebring on it. So, and also, you know, changing the, uh, the brake lines to uh, stainless steel and the brake fluid. So, um, yeah, so the tunability, let's see, the power plant, uh, exterior, interior, and let's see, there's one more thing. One more thing, the, um, I'll get back to you on that. All right, all right, I'm back, I'm back. All right, so last thing is actually the way it drives so that pretty much has to deal with the the handling now i did change out the springs for lowering springs now it's not the best springs that they had out there i didn't go with the h and r um you know i don't have coil overs i actually went with the cheap you know cheap option i think these these springs were like 250 bucks or no could be even less could be like a hundred or something like but i forgot the brand on the godspeed yeah, that's it right there. So it's that light, light blue, you know, powder coated um, spring. So I mean, you probably peeped that in my exhaust video that I made. By the way, that video is is hitting right now. It has like four thousand views, and I appreciate y'all for that. So I mean, keep on clicking them, clicking them buttons, you know, and all my watch all my videos and like them all and give me a comment, you know. But um. Yeah, so the way it handles is uh, it's pretty nice. Like these wheels, I know the wheels have the, a big thing to play with it because um, you know these are a big upgrade uh, for traction. Um, you know the Forge, the real lightweight, and um, it also gives an aesthetic look to it. It makes it look a lot better too. And excuse the car, you know it's not it's not clean right now. It's a little dirty, but I wanted to show you something. Um, while it's dirty uh, for one of the one of the things that I don't like so let's actually get to that one of the one of the things let's 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 count it up I don't even know how many things I don't like about it but it's not that many so number one thing it's fucking brake dust boy yo my wheels are gold this has only been a week of not cleaning it I actually powdered, uh, um, ceramic coated the uh, brake calipers. They still get pretty dusty, but they're, you know, it's a lot easier to clean. Uh, the wheels are powder coated. I'm oh, not powder coated, my bad, Plasti Dip. So, I mean, you know, I couldn't put the ceramic coating on that because uh, it would just, you know, make it way harder to take off when I'm ready to, you know, change the color again. But god damn, I don't even want to touch it right now because this thing is like filthy. So yeah, number one thing I hate right now is brake dust. Because you gotta constantly clean these boys. So uh, let's see. Another thing I hate is the uh, the Bluetooth. I mean, it's a 2014 car. Bluetooth should be a seamlessly thing, you know, it does uh connect, you know, as soon as I turn on the car. Um but it doesn't play like the music automatically. If I keep it in the media mode, I mean, I have to click on the media button. I gotta click, make sure it's connected to my phone. I gotta, you know, turn on the music. I mean, if this boy automatically just started playing like some music, you know, just like if you were to have it on the radio option, I mean, it would just be so much better. I don't know if it's the app, you know, I got a, a, a Galaxy S8, S8 Plus. I don't know if it's the app or the phone. Oh, I think my wife just drove past. But, yo, so that's one of the things that could be improved on this car. So, yeah, brake dust. 
um, the, the Bluetooth connectivity. And let's see, let's walk around. Let me actually see if something I don't like about this thing. I mean, not much, honestly, it's not much. I mean, those are the only two really things I, I can really complain about on this car. Oh yeah, well, there is like the maintenance things, like uh, let's say like the, the oil leaks. I mean, all BMWs, you know, they have their issues with oil leaks, but you know, I feel that, you know, BMW since it's a known issue, like since way back when, um, they should have did something about it. Either use a different type of gasket or like, you know, just something, man, something. Like, so right now, like, uh, currently I, I've changed out, uh, let's see, the, uh, the oil housing gasket, uh, fil or gasket, <laughs> the oil the housing gasket, the uh, valve cover gasket, um, and let's see, I believe that's it. But I mean, you know, the car does have like 82,000 miles on it right now, and that's pretty much the only things that really went wrong with it, other than, you know, spark plugs, coils, and that was just a maintenance thing. That, you know, it's really highly recommended when you're, when you're tuning the car, so those things got upgraded. Um, so not too many things actually broke on the car that wasn't supposed to be, wasn't supposed to. Um, but you know, it's just, you know, they, you know, being BMW, you know, you gotta have a higher expectation of these things. So them engineers, they, they gotta come up with something else on that. But I believe that's pretty much it, man. I can't really think of anything else. Um, yeah, so I'm loving the car right now. But, you know, the plans, the plans are still in place. Those boys are coming. You know, replacing that turbo with a pure stage two, doing the port injection. Um, highly thinking about the, uh, the upgraded high, high pressure fuel pump. Thinking about that, but I'm not, not 100%. So, that's gonna be, you know, put into the books when I'm, when I'm doing all my, my researching. But um, yeah, so the plans is to go to the track next year. I'm not sure if I wanna do it before I replace the turbo or after. I might do it before I replace the turbo just to get like a, a compare, uh, you know, like a, a beginning, you know, stage type thing. So um, I do wanna replace the, the front lip, get some more aero on there before I go on the track. Um, Let's see, some of the cooling features, uh, let's say like a upgraded oil, uh, oil cooler. Um, not 100% sure if I want to do that or if it's needed when, you know, tracking these cars. I know it, it'll help, definitely would help, but uh, I'm not 100% if I, if I should do it. But, um, yeah, tires is a must. Tires are getting changed out. Um, and coilovers are definitely happening before I take it on the track. You know, I got my homeboys talking about I should get the uh, the in performance uh, LSD, but the price is actually went back up. Like, so they were what I think I believe they're 500 bucks, but on Beamer World they're still like a thousand. So I mean, a thousand isn't bad compared. I mean, you know, granted that it's like 2,300 bucks, like you know, uh, normal price. So. We'll see, we'll see about that. I know that would make a huge difference on the track too. So that, that might be in the plan, but we gotta, we gotta weigh out all, all the options. You know, I, I, ain't, I ain't rich, you know, YouTube ain't paying yet. And I, you know, you know, I just got a nine to five, you know, that, you know, working like everybody else. So I'm trying to get it done. You know, I'm trying to, you know, fulfill the, the hobby, you know, I love, you know, driving cars or, you know, nice looking, you know, sporty cars. Um, I like working on them, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna happen pretty soon, y'all. Y'all stay tuned, but um, yeah, new video coming up. Um, y'all just stay tuned, man. I, I got some mods coming too, so uh, y'all know y'all know we gotta keep it a secret though to keep y'all guessing. So hope y'all like the way this car is looking, cause I'm loving it. 
But um, till then, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. All right, so I'm gonna do a little pull for y'all. So right now, you know, y'all know the mods. You know, I got the uh, the Canon air filter. I got the downpipe JB4. Uh, I got E20 in the gas tank right now. I got the uh, Pure uh, Option One uh, turbo inlet, intercooler upgrade, um, GFB diverter valve, and I got this boy. We're actually. I got it in map five right now, so I should put it in map seven for 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 this type of pool. But we're gonna do map five. So let's see. We in first gear. Oh, put that boy back in first. Do a little brake boost. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So right now, we're in map seven. I ain't got that much road ahead, so we're gonna do what we gotta do right now.